right, we are covering 6-6 .6 today. It's called Fundamental Theorem of Algebra, and maybe the good news or the bad news for you is we're not actually going to learn about the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra. We're going to do one small part, so this will be a very short, quick lesson. And what are we going to do? We're going to learn to write polynomial functions given their roots. All right, so the following statements are equivalent. This is probably more than you need to know, but um, it's probably just additional information to know about polynomials. So a real number r is a root of the polynomial equation p of x equals 0 p of r equals 0. So it's telling you these are all equivalent statements. So a real number r is a root of polynomial equation p of x equals 0. That means when you evaluate p, the polynomial, at the value r, it equals 0. If r is an x, r is an x-intercept of the graph, so if r is a root of the polynomial equation, it's an x-intercept. That means x minus r is a factor. So for instance, if a, if the, a root is x equals 2, then the factor is going to be x minus 2. And that's important to remember for what we're doing. When you divide the rule p of x by x minus r, if it's a factor, the remainder is 0. And r is a 0 of p of x. So these all mean the same thing. And you may see questions framed in one of these meth in one of these ways. So if I ask you to find a zero of the polynomial, it's the same thing as asking you to find an x-intercept. Um, so it's just kind of good to know this information. It's kind of loosely related to the part of the lesson that we're actually going to be covering. So we can use this information to write polynomial functions when we're giving the zeros, and specifically the most important part is this. If if a root is r, then the factor is going to be x minus r. And we did this with quadratics as well, so it's not new. All right, so write the simplest polynomial with roots of negative 1, 2 thirds, and 4. So what does that mean? It means that when x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 2 thirds, or x is equal to 4, the value of the polynomial is 0, or we have an x-intercept. So we find these values from a polynomial function by factoring and setting each of those factors to 0. So what were the original factors that we got to give us these roots? Well, we kind of take these numbers, the 1, the 2 thirds, and the 4, and we give it the opposite sign for the factor. So our factors then would be, we have a, a root of negative 1 that gives us a factor of x plus 1. We have a root of positive 2 thirds, we're going to have a factor of x minus 2 thirds. And if we have a factor of x minus, of, x, of 4, we're going to have a fact, uh, root. If we have a root of 4, then we're going to have a factor of x minus 4. So you're going to start from the roots, you're going to get to your factors, and then from here, we're just going to FOIL. We're just going to do the multiplication. So you're going to start by FOILing the first two factors. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 thirds is negative 2 thirds x. 1 times x is x. And then 1 times negative 2 thirds is negative 2 thirds. Simplify this. Actually, let me get rid of those. We can combine these two and that gets us to, so 1 plus negative 2 thirds gets us to this 1 third here. And now we're going to FOIL this with our third factor. x times x squared is going to be x cubed. So x times 1 third x is 1 third x. That's not very legible, is it? 1 third x squared, and then x times negative 2 thirds is negative 2 thirds x. And now we're going to start with the start with the negative 4, negative 4 times x squared, negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 1 third x is negative 4 thirds x. And two, negative 2 thirds times negative 
4 is going to be positive 8 thirds. And now we can combine our like terms. We have 2x squared terms and 2x terms, and that gets us to this final form of the polynomial, which is the simplest form, x cubed minus 11 thirds x squared minus 2x plus 8 thirds. And that's your final answer. So pretty simple. All right, I'll try, I'm going to go through one more example, and then there's one for you to do, and then I'll show you your homework. Okay. So write the simplest polynomial function with the given zeros again. So this is, no, this one is zero, so what does that mean? Well, we're going to presume that we have, well, you can write it as x minus zero, but the reality is it's just going to be x. And then x minus two-thirds and x minus three. This simplifies to just being x. And now we're going to foil everything together. And I'm not sure what they've done. Okay, so essentially we're going to get rid of this. We're going to foil this. And that's going to give you your x squared minus two-thirds x. And now we're going to do our second FOIL. So x cubed minus three x squared minus two-thirds. I don't know why I can't write my three today. Three x, two-thirds x squared. And then finally plus 2x when I multiply the negative 2 thirds and the negative 3. And now we can combine those two x squared terms and you end up with this as your final simplified answer. So this would be one for you to try. Make sure you understand how to do this. And that is essentially the end of the lesson. Here's the homework for the lesson. If you have questions, please uh, bring them to class.